the cross section of a hay shed is in the shape is in the shape of an inverted parabola. So this is this is a uh, hay shed, and that has the shape of an inverted parabola. It can be modeled by this equation: h is equal to 0.5 w times 10 minus w, where w is the width of the hay shed and h is the height of the hay shed. So just to draw the graph of this equation, uh, so let's say this is this is the h, uh, h or the y-axis is h and on the x-axis you've got w which is the width. So by looking at this equation uh, we can say well the x-intercepts are going to be 0 and 10. 0 and 10 are going to be the x-intercept and this is a parabola going up like this okay and yeah we can say as it's a parabola it is symmetrical over the axis of symmetry so halfway between 0 and 10 you get phi so this is the maximum phi comma something so we'll find that out phi comma something so the question is how wide is the hay shed well, how wide is the hay shed is the, this is the width, so this is from 0 to 10, so the width is 10 units, okay, so you can say this is 10. Next is what's the maximum height of the hay shed? So you can say maximum height, maximum height is at the vertex, is at the vertex, and uh, as we know that the vertex is halfway between the x-intercept, it is between 0 and 10, so that's 5. So if you put 5, so when you can find the maximum height when, say, w is equal to 5. So this implies h is z uh, 0 0.5 times 5 times 10 minus 5. Let's do without a calculator. So h is, uh, this is how much? Uh, 2.5 times 5, which is 12.5 units. So we can say, well, this height, this height is 12.5. So the coordinate is 5 comma 12.5. Now, if you want to confirm this on a calculator, if you have a graphic calculator, if you allow the calculator, if you go to graph, just to explain graphically, let me delete this equation and type in 0.5x bracket 10 minus x, just like that. Okay, and uh, then graph it. So it's difficult to see the graph. So to have to, you have to change the scale. So press Shift F3. So we know we have to go on x-axis from 0 to 10. So let's go up to 12. And the scale of 1 is fine. On the y-axis, I'll go from 0 to 15. Scale of 1 is fine. And then draw the graph. So this is the, the graph of y is equal to, or h is equal to 0 0.5 x times 10 minus x and then to confirm g sol maximum at phi comma 12.5 you have got the maximum okay so the, now the next question is a support of 4.8 meters long is placed inside the hay shed how high is the timber support so what are they saying is this width is 10 so you're putting a support somewhat like this this is 4.8 meters. This is 4.8 meters. So the question is, what is this height? So we can find this height. So let's say this is h. If you can find uh, the x coordinate. So well, using symmetry, I can say uh, the total width is 10 so first I'll do 10 so let me use a black color 10 take away 4.8 4.8 is 
Am I right? 5.2. So using symmetry, you have to have 2.6 away from 0. So this coordinate is 2.6 and also 2.6 away from here. Yeah. So this coordinate is 10 minus 2.6. Uh, okay, so let me do it here. 10 minus 2.6. So that is 8 minus 0 0.4. Sorry, 0 0.6. I've taken away first 8. Sorry, 2. So 10 take away 2 is 8. And then, so this is 7.4. So we'll confirm all this on the calculator. So this coordinate is 7.4. So basically, what is this height? What is h or what is y when x? So basically, to answer this question, we have to say what is y when x is 2.6 or x is equal to 7.4. So again, let me explain this again. How did I get? This 2.6 is you uh, 5.2 divided by 2 is 2.6. So you have to be using symmetry. You have to have 2.6 distance here, and this is also 2.6. So 2.6 plus 2.6 is 5.2. So if you go 2.6 units from 10, you're reaching 7.4, and if you're going 2.6 from 0, you're going to reach 2.6. So let's do without a calculator. So h is given to be uh, h is given to be 0 0.5 w times 10 minus w. You have to just put w as 2.6 into this equation. And that will give you an answer. So let me show this on the calculator. So basically, you can go g solve. And when we want to find y when x is 2.6. When x is 2.6, the height is 9.62. And again, if you want to confirm, you can find y when x is 7.4. That's also 9.62. So here the answer is your height, the height of the, sup the support, the height of the timber when it is 4.8 meters is, what was the answer? 9.62 meters. 9.62 meters. So basically what we are saying is, this coordinate is 2.6 comma 9.62. And this coordinate is also, uh, sorry, the coordinate, x coordinate is 7.4 and the y coordinate is 9.62. And the length of this timber is 4.8 meters.